Hey guys, my name is Sammy. I'm a classical Pilates teacher and today I'm going to do a workout on the spine corrector. If you have one, please join me. I will be using some light hand weights. These are one pound. You can use two. I don't really recommend going higher than that. Okay, let's just get started. You don't need these yet. So there's many different ways that you can do the 100 on here. You can bring your pelvis all the way down this way, or you can sit into the crack. And today we're gonna sit into the crack, and we're gonna actually not start with the 100. We're gonna start with footwork like you would on the reformer. So you're gonna bend those knees into your chest. You're pulling your stomach all the way into that barrel, and you're gonna clasp your hands together and bring your hands behind your head. Now, I was taught palm over palm, but I have, since continuing ed, been taught to do this and push with the heels of the hands and lock the elbows, and I find that much better. And then bring your chin in and look at your stomach, heels together, toes apart, and you press out and you come back in. And again, press and in, reach, three. Pull your ribs to the barrel, four. Five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Bring the legs together, cup the feet like you're on your arches on the foot bar, and ten times here. Ten, nine, eight, seven, six, five, Four, three, two, one. Flex your feet, heels, 10, nine. Ooh, my voice is getting shaky. Eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one, reach those legs out, point the toes, flex, point, draw that stomach in. You can also do this in your Pilates stance. Five more, four, three, pull your back into the barrel, two, one, bend your knees, take a little moment, you can let your head fall back if it feels good. Bring it back up, going into your 100. If you slid down, you might want to scoop back a little bit, or vice versa. If you find it's bothering your back or something, slide down, slide forward. All right, here we go. Legs go out, reach and pump. Inhale, two, three, four, five, and exhale, two, three, four, five, in. And out, two, three, four, 20, in, two, exhale, 30, in. Out, two, three, four, 40, in. Exhale, two, three, four, 50, in. Exhale, two, three, four, 60. Keep pulling your back into the barrel. 70, inhale, two, three, four, five, exhale. 80, and out. 90, last one. And exhale, 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 hold. Bend your knees and rock yourself up to a seated position. Let's go into the half roll down. So you'll sit into the crack. Your feet, if your knees allow for you to pull them into the uh, front of the step, then do so. Otherwise, they can be out here. That's fine. All right, so you're going to grab behind your legs. Sit up tall. Draw that stomach in. Inhale, chin to the chest. Go back. Pull the heels into the step. Exhale, come back up. Stay curled. And again, inhale, go back. Really keep using the legs. Now, when you come up, try to keep the hip bones facing up and pull your bottom rib over the hip bones. Two more. Inhale back. Exhale up. One more. Exhale up. Good. So you can stay like that or you can come into your roll up. So now you're gonna scooch, maybe just a little forward if you need to. So I have a really long back and some people have really long legs. So with the spine corrector, you do kind of have to 
position yourself for your body. So you might have to play around a little bit. So you're going back over that barrel if it feels okay for you. Now you're gonna reach those legs long, pull the ribs down, lift your arms up and lift your head, inhale. Now you're gonna curl up. Think about reaching the top of your head up to the ceiling to go over, pulling those toes back, stretch. Bring your hands down, get a nice stretch here. Lift those arms up, chin into the chest, shoulders plug down your back as you roll all the way back. And again, anchor your feet down. Inhale, lift up to go over, exhale. Inhale, exhale. One more. Inhale, up and over, reach. And come all the way back. And let's go ahead and just sit up. So you're gonna roll straight up to a seated position. And we're gonna go upside down now. Hopefully if you have a spine corrector, you know how to, to use this piece of equipment, but I will talk through it. Okay, so to go upside down, you're gonna sit just below the apex of the hump. And one step, one foot goes on the steps. So you don't wanna be up here, otherwise it's gonna feel like you're gonna fall off. So you do wanna be a little bit below so that the barrel supports you. Okay, so one foot is on the step, one foot is straight and you hold the handles. And you can even slide a little bit more. You want your lower back supported. Now chin is to your chest and now you slide. I'm pushing with my bent leg because you wanna get your shoulder blades to touch the mat and then put your head down. That's so important. And then you're gonna bring your knees in towards your chest and your legs up. Now careful that your butt is not up right now. Your butt is down and now pull your ribs into that barrel. So let's go into the um, short spine massage like on the reformer. So you're in your Pilates stance, knees are open and you're gonna press out, inhale. You're gonna go overhead, hold your breath. And I'm keeping my upper back against the barrel. Now I'm gonna go bend the knees right into my ears, exhale. And now I'm gonna roll my spine down and you want your lower back to touch the barrel. And pause. So the reason your lower back does go into the barrel is this is already honoring the curve of your spine. Inhale, out, hold your breath up and over. Exhale, bend and roll it down. Inhale, out, hold your breath. This is a breath breathing exercise. Bend and exhale. Inhale, ribs down. Bend and exhale. One more. Feels really good here. It's delicious. Bend and roll it down. Very nice. You're gonna bring your knees into your chest and you're gonna push this away. It's sticky here today and come out. If you need to take a few breaths here to make sure you don't get vertigo, that's fine. Move slowly and sit up. You can always pause the video or just, you know, I tend to, when I watch videos, I just go back a little bit. Okay, so now going into coordination. You're gonna sit just how you were for your 100. And you want your, so I'm not completely here because I can't find my lower stomach. So I do have to come forward a little bit more. So again, your body, it's up to you. And now elbows are in and knees are in. Go ahead and cup those feet, try to find the backs of your legs. Now chin down, inhale, go out, pull back into the barrel. Open, close, go up and over the limbo pull, exhale, and then bend those elbows. And again, press, pull your stomach back, open, close, exhale, and bend. And again, inhale, out, open, close, exhale, and come in. One more, inhale, hold your breath, use your stomach, use your legs, exhale, and bring it back in. Go ahead and sit yourself up. Now you could have, we could have done those with the weights too. Um, I just didn't think about it for that second. We're gonna use them for rowing, okay? So you're gonna sit 
in the crease here and your legs are down, make sure you're centered. And you can flex your feet or you can cup them. If you are really flat footed and you need to work on the arch of your foot, I suggest you cup them whenever possible. Otherwise you can flex them. Okay, so into the sternum first, make sure you're not so far back in that crease that you can't anchor your um, pelvis down. Okay, so anchor that pelvis, anchor your legs, and you're gonna pull back and bring your ribs in to the barrel. You're gonna reach out to the side. Now you're gonna press back, pull that lower stomach back, and now reach up. Try to bring your forehead to your knees, and then circle, spread your back wide. Spread it wide, spread it wide, spread it wide. And then again, come straight back. Bring those weights together, pull the ribs in. Open, press Back as you go forward. Try to keep those hip bones up to the ceiling as long as you can. Lift and spread your back wide. You don't want to shrug here. You want to spread wide and wide and wide. Last time, pull back. Use your stomach. Anchor your legs. Reach. Press back as you go forward. Come into that well. Lift with your triceps. Circle and anchor your pelvis down and sit all the way up. Now for 90 degrees, you wanna actually be a little bit wider than 90 degrees and arms up so they're not down. When they're down, you're using your bicep to do everything. And when they're up, it automatically connects your arms to your back. That's what you want right now. Okay, rotate the pinkies. Now you're gonna hinge back, but the, the barrel is a hump. So you wanna pull your stomach into the barrel and lift. And now you're gonna reach up and around, dive and lift those arms again, and then anchor the pelvis as you go around. Roll the spine up, use your stomach constantly. Find that obtuse angle and take it back. Ooh, how far can you go? Lift and down. Go lift your triceps, circle it around. This time when we lift our triceps, we're gonna try to keep the weights closer together. And go, anchor the pelvis and go back. Just roll onto that barrel, lift. Here we go. You're gonna bring those weights together and lift and lift. You can even clasp your fingers, anchor your pelvis and now go around. All right, from the chest, bring those arms in, anchor the pelvis down, chest is out, inhale, exhale, lean your bottom rib over your pelvis, over your hip bones. Inhale, reach out of the lower back and press and grow tall. And again, inhale, exhale, inhale, exhale, and go, inhale, exhale, Inhale, exhale out from the hips. So you can go ahead and place your weights right by your hips. Roll down, there's no breath there. Now pull back through the lower stomach as you reach forward. Make sure you're not here. You wanna pull away, stretch your back. Roll up, stay into the wind. Lift those arms up. Now pull your pelvis down and lift your chest. Spread your back wide and again. Forward, inhale, exhale, roll up, inhale, reach, exhale, press. And last time, slide shoulders away from the ears, roll it up, lift and press. Good, let's shave, bring those weights up and back behind you. I like to keep them like this, so my elbows are wide. Up, lift the, the back up. Don't just lift, shrug the shoulders and not move the back. Ooh, here, lift and back, lift. Anchor the pelvis down and lift. One more, out of the waist and hug. Inhale, exhale, inhale. Spread your back wide, the shoulder blades to the armpits. Exhale, inhale. Exhale, reverse your breath. Exhale, inhale. 
Exhale. Inhale. Exhale. And lower it down. Very nice. Okay, so let's put the weights down for a second. And let's go into swan. So again, where you position yourself on the barrel matters. Again, I have a long back, so you can't just look at where my body is on here and expect yours to be the same because we're just, we're not the same. We're unique. Okay, so you're gonna come forward enough so that you will be able to bring your forehead down, okay? We're gonna go into a few other extension exercises. So you're down, you're reaching long through your uh, back and out your legs. You should be feeling your glutes right now, legs together, parallel. So now you're gonna press your hands down and they can come back a little. I don't want your shoulders creeping up. Scrape your nose on the mat, lift the chest, everything stays in line. Now lift your chest a little bit more. Exhale to come back down. Pull the stomach in as you go back down. Inhale, scrape the nose. Lift, tighten up the legs, push your hips, your pubic bone into that barrel, and exhale, shoulders don't crunch, away, away from the ears. One more, you're coming up, you're gonna go for your swan dive. So now you're gonna lift the, really work the backs of the legs, lift the thighs, pull the stomach in, and come back up. And again, lift, stay parallel, and come back, up, shoulders away, and come back up. One more, tap your chin, that's better, and come back up. Now going into grasshopper, if you've never done this, I'm gonna talk through it, move very carefully. So same thing, your stomach is in, you're gonna go down, chin down, lift through the back of your legs, don't just sink in your back, use your stomach, find your glutes and hamstring, heels together, toes apart, you bend, in and now you lift to open the front of the hip and you be eight times, eight, seven on the way up, six, five, four, three, two, one. So again, you're gonna lift, find that nice elongated shape, bend, lift a little more, and then eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Last time, it's all about that length first. Now you get to go more, but you have to use your glutes. And eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Good, all right, step off. So let's do the arm series on here. Okay, so you're gonna sit in front of your, of your barrel. Now your options for your legs, they can be bent together, they can be open a little bit, they can be straight. Okay, so it's up to you. I'm gonna keep mine bent and together. Now, sometimes this hump, is just too big for, for people and you have to scoot forward a little bit. Um, just remember, you know, change comes with being uncomfortable, but there's a difference between uncomfortable and pain. You really wanna know that within your body. So, you know, when in doubt, leave it out or modify to what you feel safe doing, especially at home with no instructor with you. Okay, so in a perfect world, you are up against it. Okay, and you're pulling your spine into it. Now put the weights on your lap so that you can support your head here. And you're gonna support this head and you're gonna go over it. Now, the more you lift your chest, the better. Oh, quick thing, if you're really kyphotic, this isn't for you. Okay, the leg series is more for you. So you can skip this. Okay, here we go, up and back. And you wanna not lift your chin so much, draw the chin in as much as you can and put it down. You'll start to sink into this more. Grab those weights, pull the ribs down as much as you can, pull that tailbone down. I have to come out a little bit to not just sink in my lower back, okay. Now, inhale, exhale, go back behind you and really try to pull the ribs down. Inhale, come up, plug the shoulders, exhale, press. And again, inhale. Lift the shoulder up to go. Exhale, pull the ribs in. Inhale, exhale, press. Inhale, exhale. 
Inhale. Exhale. And you don't have to use any weights at all. One more. Exhale. Inhale. Exhale. I want to teach you how to get out of this before we continue. Hands behind the head. Bring the chin to the chest. Roll forward and stretch forward to, to counteract that. So I'm gonna keep doing more things in this position. If it ever becomes too much in that position, bring your hands behind your head and help yourself up, okay? All right, so here we go. We go up and over. Nope, put your hands behind your head if you need it. It's, it's safer that way, I just forgot. Okay, so now pull the ribs down, lift the shoulders, circles, inhale. Exhale, you wanna reach your back wide, wide, wide versus arching, so pull the ribs in more. Inhale back, lift the shoulder, ribs go down. Exhale, here's where you kind of lift your chest. Inhale. Exhale. Because it is easy, especially if you're hypermobile, to go back and just kind of arch your back. You want to actually pull the ribs down as much as you can. I need work in it here. And circle, exhale, reverse. Inhale, lift, pull the ribs in. Exhale, press. This is your chest expansion. Inhale, exhale, I'm gonna scoot back a little bit. Inhale, exhale. Now bring your arms up and one arm's gonna go back, one arm's gonna go forward. Try to keep those shoulders square, two little pulses. Easier said than done. Pull the rib in, belt pulse, pulse. Inhale up, exhale. Inhale up, exhale. Inhale up, exhale. Exhale. Good. Now open your arms to the side. Try not to arch your back. Pull the ribs in. Cross at the elbows. Hug yourself. Press down. Up. Spread your back wide. Shoulder blades to armpits. Exhale. Other elbow on top. Give yourself a hug. Pull the shoulders down. Hmm. <laughs> It's hard to talk in this position. Inhale, exhale. Make sure you're switching at the elbows. One more. Press. Good, bring your hands behind your head. You can set your weights down or keep them. Chin onto your chest, whoo, and come forward. I uh, slept wrong a few nights ago, woke up with a big kink down my neck and this is exactly what I should have been doing because definitely need it. Okay, so now let's go into the live series, but I need water. If you need water, get it. And I started putting Trader Joe's grapefruit juice because my client does the pineapple. It's not from concentrates in the carton in the fridge section and I do like a quarter of juice and then water and I just find I drink so much more and it's the grapefruit is good. It's low in sugar and I really like it. Okay, back to the workout. I'm gonna turn this around just because I don't wanna kick anything back there for the leg series. And you're gonna go upside down just how you did before. So one foot, this is not straight, you guys. All right, one foot on the step, one foot out, grab the handles. Roll down, make sure your chin is to your chest. Don't let the chin go back. Push, get your shoulder blades as close to the barrel as you can get it. And then you're upside down. Okay, so again, remember your butt's gotta be down. And so let's do frogs. I'm gonna teach you a different way of doing frogs since we did this for the uh, short spine massage. Now prayer position your feet, tighten up in the outer hip muscles and turn the toes to face you. Okay, pull your ribs down. Now press out to where, as far as you can go without the backs of the feet coming out, and then come back. Just, just start there five times. Press it out, exhale to go out, inhale to come in. Pull the ribs down, exhale, use your breath, and come in. Two more. Push the feet together. Hold this one, rotate. Notice how I'm not straightening my knees. So I'm working on internal rotation and external rotation in the hip socket. Really important for 
pelvic stability and hip mobility. And again, press out, pause where you have to stop. Pull your ribs in more. Now just rotate in, rotate out, and come back. And again, press it out, exhale. Inhale, exhale, inhale. You can also do this all in one breath. If you'd like, exhale, hold your breath, and inhale. Now lift up, pull the ribs down, so you're using those upper abdominal muscles the whole time. Going into leg circles. Now you wanna pull in as much as you can without the butt coming with you. This is also part of that hip mobility. And then you open, let's stay, you know, just wide, like shoulder width. And then you pull the ribs in, exhale to go down. Inhale, up. Open, exhale. Inhale, exhale. Inhale, exhale, inhale, one more. Other direction. One more, I'm focusing and hold. Now let's go little walks, pull the ribs in. You can flex your feet or you can cut them. Again, if you need to work on your arches, work on them. And you go down, two, three, four, five, and hold. Now pull your ribs in deeper. And up, two, three, four, five, and squeeze. Down, two, three, four, five, and squeeze. Up, two, three, four, five, squeeze. Now let's go eight counts down. Oh, go all the way up, guys. Down, two, three, four, ribs, six, seven, eight, inhale, up, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, down, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, up, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Now let's go heels together, toes apart, and really wrap the glutes out and around. If you need to hike back in, you can. And you're going to just lower to the diagonal to start and pull your ribs in and beat. Eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, hold. Pull your ribs in more and beat. I lowered a little bit, by the way. Six, five, four, three, two, one. Lower if you can, if you can keep that stomach working. Eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Lift a little bit. Eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. All the way up. Eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Turn parallel, let's go into scissors. Flex those feet for right now. You can point them, you can cut them. And just switch, and switch, and switch. And you're trying to keep the pelvis really still, the ribs pulled in, switch, 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 switch. You can always go slower than this. You do not have to do it at my pace. And bicycle, now you're gonna kick your butt and cup your feet, kick your butt. Ooh, it's hard to keep them cut. Challenge, kick your butt. But it does help you find the back of your body. So it's a quick kick. And in, and quick kick, and work your stomach. You don't wanna go this way to open the hip. You wanna pull the stomach in so that you're not just arching your lower back, but this hip, front of the hip is actually opening. Good, put your feet hip distance on your um, step. And remember, you can always come out of this if you just feel like you need to, okay? So now you're gonna reach out, you're gonna kick, flex, lift your hip. Kick, lift your hip. Lift, lift for your uh, shoulder brush. One more and lower it down. So you are trying to lift off of the barrel here. Lift, lift, lift. It's inhale, exhale, inhale, exhale. One more and put it down. Bring those knees into your chest and you're gonna bring both knees to your left ear. Rolling in and out. 
Come back, other side, go towards your ear. Come back and go towards your ear. Just roll and roll. Good, knees into your chest. Push your hands into the front of the barrel. Hopefully you're not sticky like mine. Slide down. We were upside down a long time. Make sure you don't get vertigo. Breathe in and exhale. One more time, breathe in and exhale. Carefully sit yourself up. Make sure that you're not dizzy. Good, we're almost done. Okay, let's go into some teasers. So you can do teasers facing both directions. I think we'll maybe pick one today and see how we feel, okay? So you're gonna sit in the crease here with your legs over the hump and you're going to reach and find your teaser. Oh, hold on, let me, let me crack, let me fix my pants. Okay, now we're gonna do it. So you're gonna come back, you're gonna reach your legs up and find your teaser. Now you want the backs of your legs on touching the chair and maybe scooching a little bit. And from here, chin to the chest, roll your spine down. Curl up and lift. And again, chin to the chest, roll down. You can go heels together, toes apart or parallel since I'm kind of bow-legged. I find more of my um, glutes and inner thighs when I turn out. Lift, and again. And lift, hold. Now try to lift your arms up and around. Lift out of your back and around. Lift and around, reverse. Lift and around, two more. One more, these are my arch nemesis. Good, and then sit all the way up. Let's try it facing the other way. Okay, so you want your lower back in, come into your ball position, pull the stomach in, just kind of how we started. <clears throat> Excuse me. Reach your legs up, you can be parallel again or not. Chin to the chest, lower down and come up Pull the, the lower, lower back in and lift. And again. And come up. Now, maybe you go backwards and come up. And again. Got to go forward a little bit more. Now maybe the legs go down. As you go down, pull into that barrel and lift. And again. Hold, bend your knees and come on up. Let's swim. So you're gonna find where you are on your stomach and you can balance. Okay, so again, I have a long back. If you have long legs, you might have to position yourself differently. Okay, now draw that stomach in, look up, swim. You're breathing. Just nice inhale and exhale. Exhale, empty the lungs completely. Hold and lower it down. You can push back here. Mm. Now, we haven't done too much twisting, so I'd love to do a little bit of twisty. So you're just gonna come, stack your feet on the side with your knees here, and you're just gonna come all the way over, stretch here for just a second, and then come all the way up, and now you're gonna bring your hands behind your head, and you're gonna go all the way over. Okay, so you're gonna stagger your feet, you know, one knee down, this knee here, and you're gonna come over 
and you're gonna bring your hands behind your head. Now you can be here or you can be here. I get a little bit more of a stretch. So now I'm gonna rotate, I'm gonna bring my right shoulder, I'm on my right side, under me, and rotate up to the ceiling. Breathe. And then I'm gonna rotate the other direction, put my hands onto the barrel, and I'm gonna lift up this way into a twist and come back down. And again, lift and come back down. Come back to the side. Maybe take one more stretch. Here you can reach. I feel it into my hips. Lengthen, heart up to the ceiling and bring yourself all the way up. Let's go other side. So if you feel like you need to be anchored down more, have that leg out. Let's go ahead and just take a stretch first over to the side. This clearly is a side that uh, is shortened. Okay, so now I'm gonna bring my hands behind my head, try to get my, um, keep my hips stacked and hands behind the head. So I'm gonna rotate my upper body and breathe. And then I'm gonna come back and I'm gonna rotate the other way and bring my hands onto the, sorry, this bracelet, hands onto the spine corrector. And I'm gonna inhale, lengthen to lift. Try to pull the top hip back and twist in your ribs. And come down and again. And come down and I'm gonna take another side stretch here. Try to get that knee down. Ugh. Rotate up to the ceiling. Push all the way up. You guys are all done. I hope you enjoyed that spine corrector workout. It was a mix between a little bit of mat, a little bit of actual spine corrector, and some reformer on the spine corrector. Don't forget to like, subscribe, hit that notification bell so you're notified of all videos, tutorials, and workouts. And I will see you next time for something that has to do with Pilates. Have a great day, you guys. Bye.